you could always use at least one or two more good musky rods, right? What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Today's video, I'm going to go over the rods and reels, but mostly rods, that I use when I am out chucking for muskies throughout this great land of ours and Canada. I talk with a lot of people, especially at the muskie expos, which we're right in the midst of right now, and I have a lot of guys come looking for, maybe not an extra rod, but I get a lot of what is the perfect one size fits all and the answer is I don't really think there is. The closest we can come to is maybe one of the Chaos Tackle Assault Stick uh, rods, all of which I use. So we'll go over that. I will talk about that one good one size fits all rod at the end of the video as a little bonus. But we'll go over what I use day in and day out when I'm out in the boat chasing muskies. I don't care if it's Iowa, Ohio, Wisconsin, Ontario, and anywhere else. Let's get right into it, starting from the lightest rod to the heaviest. All these rods are going to look the same because honestly I don't have enough room in my little space to film here to really show you the whole thing, but you know what a rod and reel looks like. All of these rods I'm going to talk about are the Chaos Tackle Assault Stick 2020 rods. It is their, I guess, high-end rod, you would say, uh, higher modulus graphite. The action between the 2020 and the original Assault Stick is basically the same. It is a moderate, fast action. The first rod and reel combo that we're going to look at is the Chaos Tackle Assault Stick 2020 Surgical Strike, and it is paired with a Tranks 400 HG, got the power handle, pretty much all the reels I use are the HG. I find it easier for myself to slow down. I like to have that high gear ratio for the line pickup when I need it, and when I don't, I just slow it down. Now I know some people have an easier time uh, speeding their reel up, whatever you're comfortable with. I have people ask me all the time, oh, you probably use a PG for this and HG for that. HG's all across the board, that's what I like, so whatever you're confident with. But that's a detour from the rods. Let's get back to the rod. The Surgical Strike is a rod that I probably use 90% of the time when I'm out fishing. It handles so many of the baits that I like to throw. The, you know, just a few for instance that I have here. The Lee Lures 8-inch Pelagic Swim. The, uh, any double eights. Um, I like the Esox Assault. The Bubba, this little top water. It's, it's an awesome light bucktail, small bucktail, sixes and eights, smaller top water, little sisters, little chopper baits. That is the first rod we're going to talk about. And I should mention that the previous rod was a nine foot model. These are all telescopic rods. Uh, for the most part, they're going to be nine foot. This is the one exception. This is a nine foot six SWAT. And again, paired with the 400 Tranks, again, a moderate fast action. The uh, SWAT is rated three to 10 ounces. So a little bit heavier, or quite a bit heavier actually rating than what the surgical strike is. But the cool thing about the SWAT is I think that uh, it works just as well, especially in the 9.6 version, which is what this is. It works almost the same as the nine foot surgical strike. That extra six inches at the end gives it a little bit more flex. I can throw the heck out of small top waters small bucktails, any of the baits that I talked about with the surgical strike. So I almost use this as sort of a backup. I'll, I'll use it, you know, if, if I've got two baits that I'm using, I don't want to switch back and forth. I'll put one on the surgical strike, one on the 9.6 SWAT. And this thing, like I said, this thing will throw baits a country mile. I love this one. It, it's an awesome rod. It's a really cool setup. And in a pinch, if you have to throw something a little bit heavier, that's what I was going to say, uh, than the smaller stuff, then it will handle something up to 10 ounces. So you can throw mid Medusas, maybe regulars if you want to, Poseidons, something in that, you know, four to eight ounce range. This rod handles really well as well. Stepping up to the next rod, and we're stepping up in real size, the next two rods are going to be paired with the 500 Tranks HG. This is the Shockinaw. 
as you can see down there, sort of. Again, 2020 assault stick, telescopic. So nice part about the telescopic rods is they fit in almost all the rod holder holders in people's boats, the rod lockers, I should say. Uh, it's easy to get them in and out of the cab of a truck for the most part. They fit in the bed of most trucks. So uh, going telescopic is really a, a huge advantage just for storage purposes. I haven't had, I have people ask me, is there a disadvantage as far as strength? I've not, I've been using a telescopic chaos rod for over two years now, probably more like three. And I've never had a single issue with uh, a breakage or anything like that. They are tough as nails. The only thing that I would mention, uh, and this is for any brand, is keep the spot where the rod slides out clean. And at the end of every day that you use it, collapse it. If you do have a rod that gets locked in place, a telescopic rod, a couple of cold packs on either side of this for a little while, uh, just to constrict everything, usually will let you uh, get the rod back down to its collapsed length. And if that doesn't work and you need to give it a little bit of a tap, make sure you take the reel off because if you hit it hard enough, it will actually break the two little feet on the reel right off. So keep that in mind with the telescopic rods. Don't get mad at it and start banging on it. If you need to give it a tap, take your time, settle down, you know, take the reel off and give it that wrap and you can usually get it to come back down. This is again, the shock and awe. It is rated four to 24 ounces. I like using this for big dive and rise baits, the 10 and 12 inch Navens, Medusas anywhere from mid up to monster. This works for big bucktails, 109s, 10s, 12s, 13s, the shock and awe. Uh, I use a nine foot, but it works just awesome for big rubber, Poseidons, anything that you need a really strong hook set. Guys know that you need to move that rubber bait if you're throwing, I don't care if it's a bulldog or a Medusa or what have you, you need to move that bait in the fish's mouth and this thing has the backbone to do it, but it also has the give with that moderate fast action so that when you do get those big head shakes, that rod is able to move with the fish and you don't have that split second where the rod will come back straight. You always got, the, always got to bend, so you always got pressure on that bait in the fish's mouth. Last but certainly not least is the Chaos Tackle 2020 Moab. This is a nine foot rod and this is for big rubber, big bucktails. It is a step up from the shock and awe. It's rated five to 30 ounces. And this thing is a big rubber chucking machine or big bait chucking machine in general. If you noticed all the other rods, I have a split grip. I like split grips, even on rubber rods. For me, it just fits under my arm, up in my armpit a little bit nicer. I know guys like going with the full cork for the rubber rod so it doesn't dig in as much. For me, it doesn't matter one way or another. I actually prefer the uh, split grip, but I do have this one in the full grip. Here again, it's preference. It's, it's not a right or wrong answer. Whatever feels good to you to use, roll with it. This Moab is, is an, an amazing rod. And with the moderate fast action, you can throw, I can throw smaller Medusas on this if I want to, but it really excels at chucking the big stuff. And that's, that's it. Those are the four rods. This one again with a, a Tranks 500 HG, but those are the four rods that I use almost all the time. Very rarely use anything other than these four. I did mention in the beginning when we were talking about, is there a, a single rod that sort of covers everything. And I still think the answer is no, but I think the one that is closest is maybe a nine or a nine foot six SWAT. It, it covers a, a pretty wide array of baits that you can throw from very small, you can throw double eights with it and you can throw up to like a, a regular size of Medusa. I wouldn't go a whole lot over that, Poseidons, that sort of thing. So, if you're out there looking for just that one rod, I would say either a, a nine, nine foot six SWAT, you could go up to shock and awe. Again, this is really tough to, to pin something down because I just don't think it, it would be like trying to golf with 
a six iron and a three wood or something silly like that it just you need more you need a wide array of powers on those rods to handle the baits that we like to throw and something I really prefer that moderate fast action over a fast action in a rod and I did make a, a, a video about power versus action of a rod I'll leave that linked up top here so you can watch that if you want to understand the difference between those two points of terminology uh, as far as talking about rods goes but that's it that's what I've got for this week folks uh, I can't wait to get out and start actually fishing soon here we've got some trips lined up as always so be looking for something musky related hopefully coming down the pipe soon I appreciate every single one of you watching all of this if you have questions about any of this leave them in the comments below i would uh, be more than happy to answer them for you and i'll see you on the next video